Lesson 3-4, Problem Solving, Working Backwards. So we're going to work on an, yet another strategy for solving word problems today, and it's the Working Backwards strategy. Here's our problem. Yesterday, Stan earned extra money by doing yard work for a neighbor. Then he spent $5.50 at the skate store and four times that amount at the bookstore. Now Stan has $7.75 left. How much money did Stan have before he went to the skate store in the bookstore? So this is probably one of those word problems that leaves your head kind of, you're kind of scratching your head and you're trying to figure out what you need to do. And this is where the working backwards method works well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the end where we know how much money he has and we're gonna go through the stores that he went to backwards to figure out how much money he had when he started. So we're gonna go through the story backwards. So let's look for the important information. We know that he has $7.75 left. That's how much money Stan has in his pocket at the end of the day. We also know that he spent $5.50 at the skate store, and we also know that he spent four times that amount at the bookstore. So we know um, in the end, he has $7.75 left. And we know that he spent at the bookstore, because I'm going backwards through the story here, that he spent four times then at the skate store. And at the skate store, we know that he spent $5.50. So the one thing that we don't know is how much money he spent at the skate store, and the other thing we don't know is we don't know how much money he started with. And that's actually the thing that we need to figure out. How much money did Stan have before he went to the skate store? So let's see if we can figure out how much he spent at the bookstore. It says at the bookstore he spent four times than at the skate store. If I know that he spent $5.50 at the skate store, he spent four times as much money at the bookstore. So that means all you have to do is take $5.50 and multiply it by four. So if we went 5.50 times four, we'll find out how much he spent at the bookstore. And $5.50 times four is $22 because five times four is 20, and 50 cents times four is $2, and if you add those two things together, 20 plus two equals $22. So that means we know he spent $22 at the bookstore. So now all we have to do is add all this together. How much he had at the end, how much he spent at the bookstore, and how much he spent at the skate store, and that'll tell us how much he started with. So $7.75 plus $5.50 plus $22. And we can get out our calculator to do this. So $7.75 plus $5.50 plus $22 equals $35. $35 and 25 cents. And that is our answer. See how we worked backwards through the story, writing down what we knew and what we didn't know. And now we know that he started the day with $35 and 25 cents.